Hi, everyone. Today I have some life-changing information for you. It's so important. All over the world now, people are getting sicker by the year. Meanwhile, food manufacturers and government bodies and the mainstream medical profession keep telling us to eat more low-fat, high-carb foods and plenty of unsaturated golden oils. They warn us to stay away from all the, quote, dangerous saturated fats and oils. So what do we do? Well, we go on buying convenience foods riddled with carbs and sugars, believing that we're doing the right thing to protect ourselves from heart disease and cancer and diabetes and mounting degenerative diseases that plague the Western world. Well, my friend, such advice from the powers that be is not just untrue, it is positively dangerous. To stay healthy, protect yourself from obesity, degenerative conditions, and early aging, it's important that you absolutely avoid starchy carbs, hidden sugars, and all highly processed, unsaturated oils. You know the kind of thing there. Golden oils that sit on our supermarket shelves and looking so pretty. Well, we've been indoctrinated with an irrational fear of fat because of inaccurate research carried out way back in the 1960s when absurd assumptions became turned into quasi-religious kind of dogma. Since then, instead of protecting us from heart disease, obesity, and other degenerative diseases, what we've been told has made us highly susceptible to all these conditions. Okay. It's time to get savvy about fats, to learn which fats are life-destroying and which are health-enhancing, and then to change the way you eat. Here's the truth. Polyunsaturated fats and oils turn rancid when you heat them. They turn into kind of health-destroying sources of free radicals that do your body great harm. What do they do? Well, they attack cells, and they even damage DNA. Recent reliable scientific studies show a definite connection between consumption of these golden polyunsaturated oils and the development of cancer, as well as heart disease and many other illnesses. So, avoid these oils at all costs. What are they? Safflower, corn, sunflower. Soybean, cottonseed, they are badly processed and they're often full of dangerous chemicals. As far as canola oil is concerned, it's commonly used in the manufacture of convenience foods, but it turns rancid very quickly. And this is associated with the development of fibriotic heart lesions. And very few people are even aware of this. Now, the oils and fats you want to eat to look after your health and stay lean are these. Butter from grass-fed animals, tropical oils such as coconut oil, and by the way, coconut oil is great for cooking, extra virgin olive oil, and that's ideal for salad dressings. These are quality fats, and when you eat them on your own or together with protein but without an abundance of starchy carbohydrates and sugars, they alleviate your hunger. They act as a great source of energy throughout the day. Eating too little of these good fats can lead to an experience, I don't know whether you've had this or not, but I know I have and a lot of other people have too, where you sit down to a meal and no matter how much you eat, you still end up craving more food at the end of it. Does that sound familiar? Now, these natural fats let you know when your body is satisfied. They also help balance hormones while significantly enhancing how you look and feel. Meanwhile, back to the supermarket. Low-fat foods fill our shelves, attracting ignorant customers who are trying to be good and eat what they've been told to eat. Manufactured convenience foods have become a roaring financial success story for food manufacturers. So people continue to eat low-fat foods, believing that these are good for them. 
without realizing that manufacturers in preparing low-fat menus have replaced fat with sugar in their wares. (laughs) We've been told the false notion that all saturated fats are dangerous. Okay, back to the good oils. Olive oil is a monounsaturated fat and one of the safest vegetable oils you can use. It's well-suited to dressings and can be heated, but only to moderate temperatures. Make sure that the extra virgin olive oil you buy is cloudy, not filtered, and a kind of golden yellow color. Coconut oil is your safest, healthiest choice for cooking because it remains stable even at high temperatures. It also, and this is great, it boasts antiviral and antibacterial properties. The other good and usually forgotten saturated fats is butter, but only butter from cows who have been grazed on green grass for at least part of their life. Here's the good news. Natural fats eaten on their own, or together with protein, but without a lot of carbohydrates and sugar, will never cause the laying down of fat in your body. Neither will they create insulin resistance, as polyunsaturated oils and grains and cereal-based carbohydrates and sugar can and does. This is honestly the most difficult truth for most people to grasp when we've been schooled for more than half a century in inaccurate and dangerous high-carb, low-fat approaches to weight loss and protection from illness and obesity. Yet, when it comes to becoming radiantly well and staying that way, you need to grasp this truth and put it into practice. Oh yeah, one more thing. Be sure also to take a top-quality omega-3 supplement every day. Mm, See below for my recommendations. And from this moment on, eat lots of good fats and thrive. You will love the way it makes you look and feel.